Happy New Year, Gemini. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. And let me, I'm just going to, I am so happy for you. I am so, you know, excited for you. And the reason for it is that this month, the first month, January of 2024, you are going to allow yourself to get rid of obstacles, to clear the path of allowing yourself to maintain and manifest your dreams, to get your money straight. This is going to be a tremendous month of financial progress, and it starts on the 4th with Mars. Mars, the planet of courage, the planet of assertiveness, the planet of bravery, the planet of energy. The planet of moving forward and not letting anything get in the way is going to be in your house of money. Yes, but it's long-term money. It's investments. It is banking. It is credit. You know, the, the, these, this car, Mars wants you to put your energy into making your finances better, cleaning out your finances. What's been going on with your money? What's been going on with your investments? What's been going on with the way you pay your debts? You are going to have four planets in your house of finances this month. And it all starts on the 4th with Mars. And I'm going to get to each and every one of those planets. But first, I got my four decks of tarot cards. And I am going to... Let's, let's get the first tarot message for you this month, Gemini. What is the first tarot message for you for the first month of the new year. And the message is a woman holding a coin. Well, that means money is in your hand. <laughs> Financial prosperity. Wow. Your planets are talking about getting your money together. And this is a woman with money in her hand. And holding means to hold on to it. Okay, hold on to it. Let's get some clarity cards with this. Hold on to your money in what way? Do what with your money? What are you supposed to be doing with your money, your finances right now? Let's get a clarity card. Oh, wow. This card wants you to hold on to your money so you can do big things for your future. This is a card of taking the lead in your finances and not allowing things to happen. You know, the thing you have to, you have to monitor your credit. Make sure there's nothing going on. You know, people opening up bogus, you know, uh, uh, accounts and doing all kinds of fraudulent things because there's so much fraudulent stuff out there to take charge, take the lead. And let me just say to you that on the 11th, there's going to be a new moon in your house of finances. What does that mean? The new moon means you are going to seek a new direction in terms of how you manage your finances, how you organize your finances. You might need to get a new accountant. You might need to get a, you know, a new bank. You might need to get a better uh, 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 booking recording system. The way you handle your managing in terms of putting stuff in order. You're going to listen and, and listen. And if you have a business, a business and you have a partnership, you are going to be seeking new ways to handle the the day to day running of the operation with your partner. But this is wonderful because Mercury the planet of thinking, the planet of problem solving is also going to be in your house of finances. House of finances. What does it mean? Thoughts about money. Thoughts about negotiating, negotiations about money, money, forming partnerships, forming agreements. What financial plans is strategizing? Mercury is about strategizing, finding answers, Getting to the bottom of things. What is it that, you know, the little details of things that you need to pay attention to. And the other wonderful thing that you're going to absolutely love is that Venus, the planet of money, oh yes, enters into your house of money on the 23rd, opening a way for a wonderful financial opportunity. Yes. And also, if you have some kind of financial, like a, a business partnership, you guys, the two of you together, or, or maybe it's a group of you, can figure out ways to increase your finances. This can be absolutely wonderful. Let me just say this to you. There's a side note here. If you are in a love relationship and you are sharing money with somebody, you have, you know, like a partnership and you two have a bank account together, you're paying bills together, there could be some thoughts about how to make things work better between the two of you. You know, to get serious in your partnership in terms of investing for the future and making things better for the long run in your partnership. 
Oh, yes. And I have my second deck of tarot cards. And let's see what the second message is for you, Gemini. What is the second message for you for January 2024? What is the second message? The second message is master. Well, didn't we just say that you take charge? Master. Okay, now this is master your heart. Master your desires. Master your wants. What is it that you want? You have to master it. Let's get some clarity cards on what it is that you're supposed to master or what you should be taking a look at in terms of getting under control. And the first clarity card is, oh, wow. Wow. Once you master the things that are a little out of control, that you may be a little, you know, obsessive with, you can have greater happiness. Self-discipline will bring greater happiness. Do you overspend? We're talking about money. Do you spend, you know, on frivolous things? Do you give your money away? Do you help people that, you know, are just bad with their money, but there you are to save them and rescue you, rescue them. And leaving yourself kind of on the limb and not having the, the financial resources to pay your bills because you're helping somebody else out. Well, this card is about mastery for you, mastery. And it's about getting things under control. And the reason why you need to master things is because the sun is going to be in your house of inspiration on the 20th. Yes. Your house of inspiration, your house of spiritual connections, your house of spiritual growth, your house of faith. But it's not going to be there by itself. Pluto, the planet of transformation, rebirth, the planet of renewal is going to be in your house of the higher mind. Where is your faith? Have you lost your faith? Have you lost your way? You know, have you lost having meaning for life? Pluto's going to help you find purpose in your life. It's going to open a spiritual path, deep into your spiritual path, deep in your faith. Is there some, you need to connect to the divine. Have a, have, you know, seek, seek information, seek message, seek messages through the angels and your ancestors so that your life will be guided by a divine force, by a divine force. Yes. And I have my third deck of tarot cards. And let's just see what the third message is for you, Gemini. What is the third message for you this month? The third message is darkness. Now, this is a very interesting card because darkness, as you see, that's a, that's a new moon. Only in, well, seeds grow in the dark. When you plant seeds in soil, they grow in the dark. And what is going to happen for you is that you're going to grow some new ideas, a new direction, but you're in the planning process right now. They're in the growing process. Something is about to spring forward in your life. Something is about to grow in your life. This is going to be absolutely wonderful. It could be something regarding, you know, a deeper path, you know, darkness, spending time alone, you know, cutting off the television, take, leaving the phone off. You know, just to be alone with your thoughts. Pray to your pray to your angels. You know, ask your ancestors for guidance and see what happens, what comes your way. Because on the 25th, there is going to be a full moon. A full moon in your house of communications. What does that mean? Oh, people are going to be telling you all kinds of stuff. People are going to walk up to you and tell you things and you're going to talk to, you know, your friends and they're going to reveal things to you. Or you're just going to have a conversation with someone and they're going to talk too much and you're going to find out things that you didn't know about them that you that kind of may be a little surprising or that you're able to put two and two together. There's going to be some information about your friendships, things revealed about your friends. Oh, you didn't know that this person was sleeping with that person, that this person was doing that behind your back. They didn't want you to know because they didn't want you to judge them. You know, little things are going to be coming out about your friendships. Also, another thing, you're going to have your, your uh, attention on your social circle. Do you need to hang with this group or do you need to associate yourself with a different group altogether? There's going to be different choices in terms of what you do with your social time, what activities you invest your time in. And it's going to allow you to make some better choices for your future. Yes. And I have my fourth deck of tarot cards. And let's just see what the fourth message is for you. What is the fourth message for you? What is the fourth message for you? And the fourth message is abundance. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Now listen, you got all the, you got four planets in your house of money. What does that mean? That means you can have abundance. 
You can have abundance, Gemini. Yes, it can happen. It can happen abundance. Let's just get some clarity. What type of abundance? In what way? There's many, there's all kinds of abundance you can have. What kind of abundance? To have a to have good health is an abundance. To have money, of course, is abundance. To have a healthy love life is abundance. Let's see what your abundance is. Wow. Dream, wish come true. What do you want? Oh, wow. The universe is giving you a wish. Allowing something that you've been longing for, wishing for, hoping for to come true. To come true, Gemini. This is wonderful. Let's get another clarity card on this. One more clarity card. Okay, let's see. Oh, love. Okay. Now, love, new love relationship. If you're looking for a new love relationship or a better relationship with the person you have, or this could be self-love, loving yourself more, treating yourself more, attending to your own needs and not, you know, leaving other people alone because they're draining your energy. This can be a really good time for you in terms of some sort of abundance coming into your life. And on the 27th, Uranus, the planet of freedom, the planet of innovations, the planet of changing things will be in your house of spirituality. Spirituality is going to be a big theme for you this month. Blessings can arrive. They can just come. Something you've been wanting, because don't forget you had the wish card. Something you have been wanting and, and longing for can just come out of the clear blue, just boom, just suddenly, just come out of nowhere. But it's not going to come out of nowhere because you, Jupiter is direct. And Jupiter is also in your house of spirituality. What does that mean? That means your angels are busy behind the scenes, working and letting things manifest for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I got my fourth deck of tarot cards. And let's just see what the fourth message is for you. What is the fourth message for you, Gemini? What is that fourth message? That fourth message is stillness. Stillness. Be still. Focus. Don't forget you've had other messages about being still and planning. Jim, sometimes you just can't be too busy all the time. You got to be still. Listen to the voices, the divine voices. Listen to what your intuition is saying to you. What is it that you need to do? Because your intuition, your angels are going to give you direction. Absolutely. And I have my deck here for the spiritual direction for you for 2024. What is the spiritual message for you in 2024, Gemini? And the spiritual message is... Our Lady who gives peace, peacefulness. Wow. The angels of peace are going to surround you. I mean, you just got out of that murky retrograde. But I'm going to tell you something. Prepare yourself. You have a tremendous year coming. Jupiter is going to be shifting into your sun sign in May. It's going to open all kinds of opportunities. You need to get organized and get the clutter out of your life. Whether it's physical clutter, emotional clutter, or mental, you know, mental clutter. Get it out of your life to have more peace so you can focus and direct your energies in the right way. So Gemini, this was your Astro Tarot reading for 2024, the first month in 2024. And if you'd like to know what else is going on in your chart, you can contact me at KimAllen.com. That is KimAllen.com. And let's see what else is going on for you. I am so excited for you this month in January 2024.